Welcome back to OU Nightly. We do have some cloud cover out there right now at 75 degrees. Light winds coming out of the south and the sun is starting to peak out after a pretty cloudy morning. Now we are seeing some positive changes to our measured rainfall across the state. Elk City has actually now surpassed a fourth of an inch of rain and that should continue. But we'll be talking about rain chances tonight in a second. First, talking about your allergy index. Today was kind of sniffly and will continue to be similar to this picture tomorrow. Weeds, trees, and mold are our biggest contributors. And then on Wednesday, it'll be our worst day for allergies as weeds, trees, and mold will have all gone up another level. Granted, if you do see some rain tonight or tomorrow, it will be washing out a lot of that pollen, so it does depend where you are on the map. Taking a look at our rain chances for tonight, northeastern Oklahoma has the greatest chance to see any measurable precip across the state. Norman, we do have a chance it's around 30%, but the chance is there. Lows tonight because of that cloud cover will be remain pretty above average for this time of year. 61 degrees for our low in Norman tonight. Now we do have some severe weather potential to talk about. This is a one out of five risk via the SPC. So we are talking about some hail and damaging wind chances. However, nothing in the way of tornadoes. Now this is talking about our setup. We have the dry line coming in tomorrow and we do have some energy available to be used. However, there is a strong atmosphere in place that may inhibit that action from happening. Highs tomorrow will be in the 80s across the state. It'll be above average again. And then taking a look at our seven day forecast, talking about that cold front coming in. So we're looking at that cold front coming in late Tuesday into Wednesday morning. So we'll have a high of 78 for Wednesday. It won't impact temperatures that much and we'll go on through the week. 80 degrees by Friday and Saturday. Saturday will warm up in time to watch that Kansas game. And then we have some more rain chances coming in at the back end of the seven day as a stronger cold front comes through on Sunday, impacting temperatures into the beginning of next week. 